Josh, first of all, uh, many congratulations winning the, the SPL Young Player of the Month award for March. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, I'm obviously delighted. Um, I didn't expect it, um, but it's a great honour and I'm very happy with uh, how things are going at the moment. When did you, you find out that you'd, you'd won it? Just this morning. Um, we went out to the training ground and then the gaffer got all the lads together and I, uh, I got announced out then that I'd won the award, so yeah, I'm very happy. I take it you got a bit of stick as well from the rest of the lads? I did, yeah, but then they all uh, congratulated me afterwards and uh, as a team we all uh, stick together, so yeah, no, it was a really nice achievement. What a nice collection of awards now for the club. The managers obviously won the Manager of the Month. Aaron and Billy uh, won Player of the Month uh, awards as well. It, it's starting to, the, the awards are starting to pile up. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. I think we've had a really good season and everybody knows that. And uh, hopefully there's a lot more to come. And uh, if we keep the players on for next season, we can continue that. Personally for yourself as well, I believe that's your, your first kind of monthly award as well. What an achievement to get. Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm very happy and uh, I'm hoping that I can win a few more. Your second season now at Cali Thistle, you've started to really settle in as well. You you look like you made that, that centre half spot your own, and, and that's saying something like Gary Warren, Chris Hogg, Danny Devine in there as well. Yeah, I mean, I got given the opportunity at the start of the season, and from then I've uh, I've kept my place and I'm still working hard in training, and uh, hopefully I can continue to play in the starting 11. The manager just kind of presented you with the trophy there for the photos. How much of an inspiration has he been to you as a former Ipswich Town centre half? Obviously it's massive, I mean, uh, it's a big name back down south uh, in East Anglia, so for him to give me the opportunity that he has up here is brilliant and um, hopefully I can repay him with playing like I am at the moment. Not to say that he, he does, uh, he coaches you in, individually, but as a, a former centre-half, how much has he, has he helped you, helped your game? Uh, a lot, um, obviously he knows the game inside out, um, in training he works a lot on different things, set pieces and uh, body shape and heading, so yeah, I'm learning a lot and uh, I hope that continues in the coming seasons. And let's hope it's the, the first of many awards to come. Oh, yeah, I hope so as well, yeah. Let's look ahead to Celtic now at the weekend. Um, a daunting place for some to go to, but not for Cali Thistle because you've won there. We have, yeah. Um, hopefully we can go there and do another good job. Um, we've just got to look at ourselves, really. We know everybody's going to be looking at Celtic and uh, perhaps going for the league title, depending on results, obviously. But um, no, we're going to go there looking to do well, as usual, and uh, hopefully the lads can put in a good performance. You could be going there as potential party poopers. Does that does that play in your mind? Would you like to spoil the party down there? Um, I suppose it, everybody would want. We just want to win the game. Um, you know, we've we've got a game to look forward to. It's a big game um, for them and us. We've got an opportunity that we've never had before, going for Europe, and they've got opportunity to win the league. So. Uh, Hopefully we can go there and put on a good show for the fans and everyone else. Yeah, because a lot of the talk before the game is obviously about Celtic and the SPL title. They could wrap it up on Sunday. But Cali Thistle have European places to play for as well. And a lot of people are, are not maybe giving Cali Thistle the credit they deserve in this game. Well, I don't know about that, but um, we're, we're just going to go down there and hopefully we'll uh, put a good performance on. And if we come away with three points, then it'll be brilliant. Um, so, yeah, no, everyone is looking forward to it and we're in a positive mind at the minute. So uh, it's up to us to do the job now. The little split that we've just well, a break that we've just had before the, the split has that allowed you then to, to kind of refocus and and know what you have to do in these next five games? Yeah, it's given us an opportunity to look at what we have to do. We've set ourselves targets within the dressing room. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, like I say, we can do a good job. You've got great memories against Celtic this season, especially d down there. Um, what was it like playing there for you? Unbelievable. Um, it was a dream come true for me. Really, I, that's what I dreamed of when I come up here. I wanted to be part of the team that played at Celtic Park and that so uh, no, it was a brilliant experience and I'm hoping it will be the same again on Sunday. Especially to win there as well, I imagine that must have made the, the feeling even better. Yeah exactly, um, it was a great great achievement and uh, no, I'm really looking forward to it. If I remember rightly that day as well, it was a good defensive performance as well, you, you limited Celtic to, to chances and I suppose that's what you'll have to do this weekend. Yeah, they'll probably have a lot of possession, um, that day we dug deep and we kept our shape and we've worked through the week to do uh, um, to know our jobs and that, so everyone knows what they're doing, and uh, well, hopefully we can uh, go there and put on a good display. Cheers, Josh. Thanks for Thank you very much. All the best. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks so much.